Welcome to another video and in this video is finally the moment where everything is being put back together so the front radiator support over there the bumper I'll be installing the new um, aftermarket um, fuel pump and the new fuel filter I'll be getting underneath um, installing the, the remaining of the headers which is the down pipes that will connect to the rest of the exhaust and then finally the car will be ready to, to turn on before I continue with this video first um, if you haven't noticed yet this channel has finally reached a thousand subscribers that is right a thousand subscribers and that is a big milestone for me um, first of all I want to say thank you to all that um, subscribe and watch the videos and even if you haven't subscribed and you still watch the videos again thank you guys so much for um, supporting this channel it's um kind of it's crazy you know to think that I finally have a thousand subscribers um, it's crazy for me to think um, you know that you know these videos get watched um, I always thought it was kind of silly you know um, being camera shy and I still am camera shy I'm still awkward in front of the camera that hasn't changed a bit but I'm getting a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera and whatnot I'm gonna say it again thanks to all of you guys that watch these videos and subscribed and um, definitely means a lot and thank you so much and also you know I do get um, a lot of questions on Instagram people do uh, message me on Instagram with questions and whatnot and I also do my best to answer you know quite my all the comments that people ask um, down in the videos and also in Instagram um, even though it's been a little bit more messages you know as the months go by I get more messages so I do my best to be able to reply to everybody and again this isn't my full-time job but, you know I have you know a full-time job outside of doing all this and you know being uh, trying to be a husband and a father and so social media and this is kind of left till the last so if I haven't replied to your messages I, apo I apologize but I do do my best to reply to everybody in the comments down below and also on Instagram so but don't let that stop you from messaging me if you have a question or one and I'll do my best to answer it the best way I know I can the best, sorry, the best way I can so thanks again the reason why I still have haven't installed the front radiator support on the front end yet is because I'm still waiting for the supercharger to arrive and that actually will arrive here in a few more days and not too long ago um, the belt finally arrived so um, this is going to be the new um, belt size because um, the OE the original belt that claim that I'm sorry that came with the VF kit um, it's too big now because the pulley is a lot smaller now so I'm going to need a smaller um, belt size as I already mentioned yes I could have put the radiator support on but I'm, I was waiting I'm waiting for the pulley to arrive so that I can install the pulley and then put route the belt so I can so I can show you guys um, a better view because just better I think personally thinking that showing you guys the route of the belt and installing all this stuff will be a lot easier to explain than say I did have the radiator mount installed then that then is I have to have it in service mode and try to des describe to you how the belt route from this point of view um, doesn't really I don't think it really helps I think it's more beneficial when I explain it when it's in um, this um, position so for right now um, the, the front end is gonna wait um, so I'm gonna so the next thing that I can do right now is go ahead get underneath the car and install the down pipes and before I go on um, real quick um, I did talk about in the last video I'm gonna you know I'm figuring out how to design a wall to separate the engine bay from where the air intakes to be coming in. Um, I'm actually gonna do a separate video for that. I'm not gonna go into detail with that, so um, I'll, in the next, I don't know, in the next future videos, not the next one, but some future video, I'll go into more detail as to um, kind of, you know, do a little wall separation thing here, so. All right, so it's a little cramped down here, so going to go ahead and connect so there's the um, end part of the headers so I'm going to go ahead and connect that install the little um, shield that goes over the axle and then go ahead and then install the um, the rear O2 sensors 
and then go ahead and connect it over there with the remaining part of the exhaust. So I have the little um, heat shields for the axles installed on both sides. Down pipes are, in, are installed all the way to the rest the remainder of the exhaust. So that is pretty much the underside of the car. Next I'm going to go ahead and start installing the fuel pump, a brand new fuel filter. And if you're not familiar where that is in the car, so the the pump is actually underneath the passenger side on the rear seat and then the fuel filter sits you know somewhere down below there here's all the stuff um i have the new um, fuel filter this is the new um fuel pump here it is um here's the accessories that comes with that came with it so this is actually separate from that um, a new gas since I will be opening it um, with gas with when you open that this tends to expand and when you put it back in it just makes it difficult so it's just good to go ahead and replace this and then here is the bracket for the um, the fuel pump with the new fuel pump I um, might as well um, get a new fuel filter as well so there's gonna be a slight modification needs to be done to the filter because um, I am running an aftermarket fuel pump. Um, the modification is actually fairly simple. Obviously there's two sides of the fuel filter and what needs to be done. So if you look at one side, this one right here says motor. This one's E. And on the other side, you got VL and you got RL right here in the middle. So the modification that needs to be done is to this one right here, the RL, which is the only modification that needs to be done to the fuel filter. So in here, if you're to shine a light, which I don't think the camera will be able to um, pick it up, in there, um, you're gonna drill out. So down towards the bottom, there's like a little taper that, you know, it's like a kind of a small hole when you put a drill bit, which is gonna be a 3 16 drill bit. You need a long one too, because of the ones that come in the packet, like a pack of, here, let me show you guys, like in a, pack like this or something will be actually a lot um won't be long enough so you have to get like a separate drill a drill bit that's especially long so just a single one to be able to reach down there here is the rl side so right here so when you look down the hole of this um line right here you'll see there's like a small little opening what we need what i need to do is make that opening a lot bigger so what you're going to do is get the drill bit it's going to come in and you're going to make that hole bigger so now so yeah so that's pretty much what i mean so that's hopefully that's a better illustration than what i was pointing at you know what needs to be done here and then obviously once you drill a bit you are going to have some shrapnel so you want to shake so what i did is i you know um, shook as much as i can poured in a little bit of gasoline shook it up a bit then got it out and did a pour more gasoline and kind of just rinse it out until i didn't see any more um, um shavings coming out so that's all that needs to be done to the fuel filter so now i'm going to go ahead and install the fuel filter onto the car remove the old one and this goes in so the fuel filter sits right around here you got to remove this little plastic covering which is held on by a variety of different type of screws so the fuel filter once that is removed you'll be able to see the fuel filter right there so that's what needs to be removed and these connections are kind of a pain, especially this one right here um, is a pain to remove. There's the old um, fuel filter and I recommend using a drip pen because you will um, spill a little bit of fuel, FYI. So I just had to pause real quick because the FedEx guy came by with a box full of goodies and it's mostly all oil. Um, so so real quick and again i'll go into way more detail in the process when this happens but i'll probably be happening in the next video in the break-in part so real quick um got myself this break-in oil driven conventional which is really important w 5w30 that stuff is really pricey and I had to get a whole lot of it because I need to do a total of two oil changes with that and since this thing likes to guzzle down nine quarts and since bare empty I'll probably use up all ten to get it all through the nicks and crannies in the engine they'll probably end up using all ten so I got a total of twenty 
of these bottles. So the next part of the breaking is this oil right here. And then the final will be using what I normally use for the car. So yes, that is a lot of oil that I just ordered, but today is a very exciting day. The part that I've been waiting for has finally arrived. It came! It finally came! <laughs> the small one. Extremely more boost. Keep out of reach of children. Cool. This thing right here. So this is going to be the new um, supercharger pulley. I'll be using in a previous video when I was showing um, the arrival of the new um, new to me engine block um, It did come with a pulley, but the thing is with that pulley that pulley was slightly smaller than this So this one is a 86 millimeter pulley and the other one that I had originally was an 80 millimeter um, pulley and I had to send the 80 millimeter pulley back and I'll explain as to why. At the time that I was receiving that new um, engine, um, Alex at AM Tuning was actually building another customer's car with the very similar specs um, that I have. And I was pretty much going off of him, you know, what he was doing with testing is kind of an idea as to what I'm gonna be, you know, getting out of this car here. I mean, engine, what I'm gonna be getting out of this engine. And when, so he was way, you know, way, like light years ahead of me with the progress of the cars compared to me so um when it was already time for him to go ahead and start the car and run it the pulley that he had originally on that customer's car was he said about 17 psi and as 17 psi sounds so awesome but that's not it's a little bit more than um I, I um I wanted and I'm assuming with that other customer too because again we're going for the same PSI range around like the 12 to like 14 PSI range so then he had to that's when he realized the pulley that Alex sent me originally which was the 80 millimeter was also too small and I would be getting higher boost um PSI um with the previous pulley the 80 millimeter so he was doing some testings with that other customer's car and found the right um, pulley size that he needed to get it within that sweet spot. So that's when Alex, um, so I sent that 80 millimeter back to Alex and he had the machine shop build, um, design, uh, redo a, a different pulley, a bigger pulley, which is the 86 millimeter to get to that sweet spot. So that's the whole um, story with uh, why I had to send it back and I've been waiting for this pulley and it's finally here. Here's the pulley, so right here, this black one is the one that comes originally with the VF kit. And then this is the one that I just got um, received from Alex. And you can definitely see, you know, um, a huge difference in size. Just to see the size difference um, in measurements wise. So the VF pulley, that is about 114.3 uh, millimeters. And then the new one, eighty six millimeters. So back when I had that original pulley, the eighty um the eighty millimeter pulley, um there was a slight difference in design as compared to the VF. And I'll actually here go ahead and explain. So obviously hourly it looks, you know, besides the size difference in the color, it's the same design, but I noticed that this wall here for the VF, you know, it's relatively kind of, you know, medium I guess if you want to say when you look at this one, it's a lot thicker. So if I were to use the same bolt, so these um, bolts or nuts or whatever came with the VF kit. So if I were to put that in and you look at, you can see how much threads are showing. So that's, you know, decent amount of, um, that it'll be able to grab onto the, onto the um, supercharger. But if I were to use the same one onto the new one, I noticed not a lot of threads. So that's not a lot of meat that is showing. I went ahead and got myself a longer um, bolt to use. So now you can compare. So remember, this is the one that comes with the VF kit and the one that I purchased, which is longer. So you can see the left one, you know, not a lot of meat, but the, on the right, a lot of meat. So that's something I'm way more um, feeling better about. And if you're curious on the size, um, the length of the bolt that I used, so it is about 20, 20 millimeter is the length and then the one that comes with the VF kit looks like it's about 
a 12 millimeter um, length. And here's a side profile. So you can see, you know, this part here is a little bit thicker, this is a little bit thinner but it does the same exact job that it needs to do. So um, as far as why the design is slightly different besides the size and the look, um, I think it might be for um, copyright purposes. I don't know if that's the correct term when it comes to um, um, dis bully designs. I don't know what the deal is. I'm sure it's some kind of not to get a lawsuit. That'll be my guess, but um, it's, still, it's gonna do the same thing, So, but with more boost. Don't forget about that. There's the new pulley belt's finally on so the belt configuration is actually different than how VF um, has their belt configured so the VF kit goes around the crank pulley over this way with the idle pulley and it goes around the supercharger pulley and then from here it cuts all the way to the alternator and then to the auto tensioner here it's a slot different so pretty much instead of this being over here, it's grabbed by the idle pulley instead of this being over on this side, it's um straight shot from the crank pulley to the supercharger pulley. And the reason for that is, if I can get a good angle, when it's in this configuration, um, the, the belt wraps more around the supercharger, so there's more surface area of the belt on the supercharger pulley than as compared when it's the other way around. So it's just slightly less um, surface area of the belt that's making contact with the supercharger pulley. And this configuration is courtesy of Alex from AM Tuning. So I so they'll give credit to him for figuring out and being the brains on how to configure the best um, optimal configuration with this. So with that being said, um, I had to grind down a little bit right here. So there's a piece that sticks out um, just a little bit and it was hitting on this. So it's recommended if going this route, please be careful. The, when you're grinding, obviously have all this and have this idle pulley off. And with the grinder, just you know shave what you need so you have that clearance for this right here. So that's the pulley. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finally put on the front radiator support. Here's the front radiator support that's installed. So right now I have the headlight on because I was actually making a designing the side wall or the wall between the for the air intake and the engine bay. Um, I was actually gonna go ahead and put on the bumper, but I actually have to wait because I totally spaced it out. I have to um, I totally forgot to order a duck. What I'm gonna do is to route you know the air to be funneled up to here and come up. From right here so I don't there's no point in me putting in the bumper just yet because if I put on the bumper um, and then once that thing arrives I'm gonna have to remove the bumper so I can go ahead and somehow modify the duct to fit onto here to be funneled up to there um, so that's what I have going on so far and in the meantime like I just said I was making some little you know little wall designs you know see what works best um, right now it's getting a little late, so I'm going to call it a night for right now. Um, so I'm going to wait for a few more days um, when that when that duck arrives. Then I'll go ahead and install it and then finally put on the bumper. And finally, the car is finally all put back together again. Got the front bumper, the front grills. Um, I still don't have my license plates. Um, I did get new Texas license plates, though so those I'll be installing later on. But for right now, um, there she is. Everything's back connected. I just don't have the covers on this side for right now. And yeah, everything's looking good. Yep, all together. So what I'm gonna be doing next, and then in the next video is go ahead and start, you know, rem remove the car off these dolly little push dollies, and then I'm gonna top off all the fluids. You know, put coolant, the new break-in oil, and I'll go into way more detail in the next video. And just like that, this car is almost this close to beginning um, turned on for the first time in a long time. So again, if you've been watching these videos, these series, um, thank you again for watching and hope you guys are learning something new, have been learning something new. And yeah, um, thanks for watching. Have a good one.